guys. I am headed off to an appointment with the NHS. Um, yeah, it's just like a 34 week iron check, and some blood, getting some blood drawn. Um, but I thought it might be helpful for anyone that's new to the NHS or new to having a baby in Britain to tag along, see what the experience is like. And I'll try to fill you in along the way on some of the differences between the UK and the US. Granted, I've only ever had a baby in the UK, but, but I am an American. And I do have a pretty good idea of what the difference in standards are and what, yeah, what's nice and what's not nice. So yeah, I think one of the biggest things that Americans get confused with when they have a baby over here is where to start. So if you find out you're pregnant in the States, you find an ob or you go to your ob and tell them I'm pregnant and they start your track of care and that doctor will deliver you. Here, when you find out that you're pregnant, you go to your GP, which is kind of uh, like your general physician, and they refer you on. They basically say, yeah, you're pregnant, and then they connect you with the hospitals in your area that you do a self-referral form to. And these forms basically sign you up to have a baby at the hospital. So all of your care goes on at that hospital and all of your appointments, all of your ultrasounds, which they call scans, all happen here and your delivery. So you go through the hospital rather than um, a private practice clinic like we might know of. We've chosen UCLA to have our last two babies. I've had my first two at St. Mary's. Different hospitals, pretty similar experience um, on quality and stuff. Obviously we have better memories here and we have a consultant, which is a doctor that knows our medical history and takes really good care of us, so we opt for this one. But yeah, you just pick your hospital and that's your starting point, not an OB-GYN. So that you'll, you, you should talk to your GP about where to go for that in your neighborhood. The other thing is, is you have to bring your own like amenities if we want to call it that. So I'm currently at Boots and I'm picking up like all the gross pads and everything, cotton balls, diapers for the baby. I've got an order that I'm picking up. So yeah, you bring your own. They're not, no frills here. So I've got my box of goodies and I'm about to walk into my appointment but I'll show you what all my party favors are from yeah for the, for the baby party we're gonna have it's pretty sexy stuff guys I hope you're ready all right another thing is if you have like a normal uncomplicated pregnancy which I, I guess I've never had but you will only meet with a team of midwives so they deliver your baby and unless you need a doctor they kind of think like you can have the baby on your own with their help, um, which they do a great job. They're trained, obviously. Um, and there's a few ways you can do it. You can do it um, at home. They'll come to your house to deliver your baby. They will do it in the birthing centers of the hospitals that are very natural, like no medication. Or, <laughs> or you can do it on the hospital floor where you can get an epidural and all of that jazz. So unless you like have compl complications or are like me and come with bells and whistles, um, yeah, you'll just see a midwife team. But if you need it, you'll see a consultant and like a little bit more of a specialty uh, track team to help you with your pregnancy. So both are included in the NHS, but they're just obviously gonna save it for the people that need it the most. So if you're just gonna have a normal delivery and this is straightforward, you meet with midwives. So today I've got a combination of a midwife team and a consultant because I need to get some just regular blood tests done and I get to meet with the special doctors. Okay one last thing before I get around people you have to carry your hospital notes with you because you're always meeting new people they're not electronic records. So It's a little bit of a flashback to another era but it actually kind of makes it easy because everyone's writing notes and everybody that sees you puts it all in one place so you just have to bring them with you to everything. There's like so many different clinics you can go to for what you need. I can never totally remember. But I think today I'm just going to the antenatal clinic for my blood. Okay, I went to the wrong room. We're gonna try this one now. So, 
I think one thing people always get nervous about for NHS is that they're going to sit around waiting forever. Well, I had some time. I got here early, and I'm literally, I've done my blood test. I've met with the midwife. She measured me. She heard the baby's heartbeat. She asked me all my consultation appointments, and I'm done. Like 30 minutes before my appointment should have started, so I don't know if you've gotten like the feel, but it's not super rushed around here, and I never wait on the NHS, which I think is awesome. So Before I leave, I thought I would awkwardly bend down here by the uh, curb and show you guys what I picked up from Boots so that you can see what will be coming along with me to the hospital. Let's see if I can do this one-handed, but I'm probably going to need two because I've also got to balance myself. Baby diapers, baby wipes, lanolin, yeah, all the good stuff. So there you go. We'll be coming in my hospital bag because as much as I love the NHS, we don't have it for you. These are crucial. And the bigger you can get them, the better. <laughs> Alright, so that was my day at NHS. I'm done. I've seen everything. I've got all my blood work done and I'm leaving 30 minutes earlier than my appointment should have even started. So it's kind of got its perks. Anyways, hopefully that gives you a better idea of what to expect when you're expecting with the NHS here in Britain. And that's it. That's it for me today. I'm getting out of this rain and I'm going home. So see you guys around. If you want more um, of a glimpse of what life in Britain's like, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or you can go to my blog, Aspiring Kennedy, and check it all out there. See you guys later.